I'm Vanessa Wright, the girl on a bike, and I'm here at Donington Park with Fast Bikes to do my very first track day. Now, I typically am a bit of an off-road motorcycle rider, so hard enduro, desert rallies, and this is gonna be my very first time getting out on a track. I'm pretty nervous, and today we're gonna to talk you through what getting out on your very first track day is like. And I'm gonna be in the very capable hands of John McAvoy, so let's get riding. So here we are at the end of the uh, Fast Bikes track day at Donington Park in association with Michelin. We've been here all day, it's been baking hot, had a fantastic day with this one here, Vanessa Rupp. Vanessa's been with us today, specifically with me, to guide her through her first track day. You're from an off-road background, so not yep. a complete novice, but it no. was your first time on track on a road bike. Yeah, so quite different to what I'm used to. I started riding, well, 2014, I got hit by a car while cycling. Right. Life-changing, reconstructed shoulder and hip, and during my mental health recovery, discovered motorbikes. Started with the road, cruising, and then my adrenaline kind of kicked in for off-road. Yeah. And I'm very used to the bike being completely out of control underneath me, of course, and yeah, yeah. you've just got loads going on. I've done things like Red Bull Romaniacs, Tunisia Desert Challenge and I really tried to push myself and take myself outside my comfort zone, which I've done quite successfully. It's terrified me a few moments. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I just think something about motorbikes is that there are so many different styles of riding. Yep. And every time you get on a different type of bike, whether it's a trials bike or a rally bike or an adventure bike or a track bike, you learn something and you grow, you come, become better as a rider. And so I kind of knew at some point I needed to get on a track. This was going to happen. This was going to happen. Brilliant. Back brake, probably not going to use any. Oh, really? But you might instinctively go for it anyway. You're trying to use the front. You're trying to get it down on the front to go into the corners. It changes the attitude. So if you're trying to load the front, I'm going to be using a lot more front. Using a lot more front than rear. So. Like 70, 30 or? I don't need the rear at all. Yeah. Oh, okay. Some do, some do. That's just me. Uh, okay. But I think most I would say is Okay. Not most. There's just not enough stopping power in there. Okay, so the, the synopsis of that is that I'm going to go out, we've got two sighting laps initially where I'll be following the track instructors. John's going to ride behind me and I'm going to just try and settle. I'm going to try and calm my nerves, just absorb a completely new environment, get used to being on a new bike, the fact that I've got a quick shifter, the controls are all a bit different, I'm in a Power Ranger suit, all of that kind of stuff. You're going to have kind of a look at what I'm doing and then for the next session, so typically in a track day, you're not riding all day and you don't get range for the track all day. You get sessions based on your ability that you can go out for 20 minutes at a time and you can pop in and out to the pits as you like through that time. So we're going to use the first 20 minutes just to try and get used to the new environment. The fact that I'm on a track in a, in a very different sort of sort of riding and then We'll slowly start to yeah, try and we'll build and, and put some yeah. tips in. Enjoy. But I'm feeling really nervous. Don't be nervous. That was the moment. Oh, well, we'll, yeah. we'll get to that. Oh, Come on. Well, too <laughs> soon. But I'm really excited okay, no, let's by go, this. Let's jump in there. So, so what, what happened today, Vanessa? I got my knee down. Ta-da. Multiple times, times on multiple corners to the point that Someone mentioned that I should frame that because wow. I'll never have that again. Yeah, um, there's lots of no. one-liners and, and quips there that you could make about your first one and all the rest of it, I suppose. But yeah, I suppose, why not? Well, why not? The, I th honestly though, being completely straight, getting onto a track bike was quite nerve-wracking. So was that it's, your main goal? No, That's I did the, not expect to get my not. knee down on day one yeah. on a track. Obviously, it's the sort of thing that could be a dream. Yes. But I wanted. To, I was very realistic with my riding, my background. Yeah. This is completely new style, and 
it's a little bit of a vanity thing, I'm going to be honest. We all love it, but to be honest. I'm, I'm really proud of myself that yeah. I did. Yeah, but the yeah, only reason that that was possible is because I've been lucky enough to ride with you, you've given me tips, and it's incredible how much, you know, a few tweaks of what I'm doing yep. can make a difference. Yeah. It just takes the shine off the flare, because otherwise it will fall off the ground. Yeah, no, it, it is real. It's that's that's a real this thing. This is a trick. A new trick. Trust me on this, because you'll slip. As soon as you start moving around the bike, give me a good spoke. Good <laughs> 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 he said, wake up. Wake up. Yeah, I don't know. So, is it, is he tricking me? Is it I got to do this? No, no, no. I've been blown away by what the rubber on a motorbike can do, you know. Obviously, you always have the conversations, even off-road as well, that it's the most important part of the bike because it's the, the two contact points of the yep. ground. But when you are pushing the bike in those kind of conditions, yep. you really realise how much more traction yeah, yeah. you have than you ever think you have. There's and tons, that, tons it just... Growth. I mean, we've, I guess we've been lucky. We've had a really hot day. Hot it's day. been dry. Straight from the off. Uh, and... I think the confidence in the tyres yeah. can only help me in every other yeah, yeah, yeah. realm of riding. Well, that on I that do. point, it's, it's discovering that how much grip the tyres I've got and what the bike is capable of. Does that then? So, is that how you thought it would be? What was the hardest thing to get your head around today? Was it the bike, the tyres, the track, the sort of etiquette and the do's and don'ts and all that? There's loads of stuff to take in on your first day. What was the, the hardest thing? Not letting the intimidation oh, yeah. impact me was a big one, especially on those early laps where there were so many people going past. I know there was a little bit of a rejuggle of some of the riders, yeah, but there yeah. were some really fast people and in kind of mobs going past, <laughs> which was quite intimidating. <laughs> and you just got to focus on the fact that it's their responsibility to get past me, yep. just keep riding my own do your track, yeah. do my thing. And yeah. I think that was quite hard. Coming for, as an off-road rider, the rear brake. Oh yeah, yeah I talked about that, I kept yeah. going, my right foot just kept yeah. wanting to go on it. And the, the peg position of having it more perched meant that when I then tried to go for it, it was like this really huge yeah. movement and yeah. it immediately was like, wait, what am I doing? It doesn't and do anything anyway, really. Yeah, well, it's yeah. like if you get on an electric bike, your hand's constantly going yeah, for a clutch. It was yeah. kind of like that. And then the shifting of the body weight. Yeah. Uh, it, yeah, it's just a very different style of that riding. That makes a big difference, and that was the first, I said straight away to you, the way you sat on the bike, you weren't going to have any problems today. It was just a question of you building up your own confidence and your understanding of the circuit and the bike. Because the, the number one, the hardest thing to teach someone is how to sit on the bike, which sounds ridiculous, you know, they've not yeah. done before. Done your first yeah. one. What would you say to someone who's on track session on this evening? What would you say to someone out there who's maybe having If you are tempted to do a track day, just get it booked. Yeah. Because you can never regret doing it, but yeah. you'll regret putting it off. Yeah. And I guarantee if you, you find a nice track, for example this one, yeah. uh, find a good group of people, you'll, you'll make a new little family. Even yeah. if you go on your own, you will not be on your own yeah, yeah. for more than the first, once you've signed on, you'll have met yeah. someone and you yeah. won't be on your own. Yeah, yeah. And you just, just get it done because you will enjoy it and you will learn a lot. You go into it with no expectations of your riding go into it like this is a new thing, I'm going to learn, I'm going to listen, be a sponge, absorb, and just get it done. Yeah. I mean, my advice is just get it booked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And what's the one thing you couldn't have done without today? Water. <laughs> so, so all that nutrition I, and hydration. You know what, I feel like I could have done without my leathers because did you, did you they were so hot. Well, you got to have those. <laughs> I mean, you know, did you need more time on the track? Did you need more, would you, did you have, you know, enough power, enough, grip, all, all this kind of stuff, would you have liked to maybe have watched more? Did you watch any onboard videos of the track to learn it, that sort of thing? I did watch a YouTube video of it before and... Did it help? No, because you can't... I'm, I watched it a few times. I think the best way to figure out a track is to spend yeah, time yeah, on the track yeah. because it's your own perspective. I don't know, I'm sure maybe some people <laughs> yeah. would sit and play the computer game and know it inside out. Yeah, but. Yeah. I kind well, of yeah. like practical Just learning. Go and do it. Just go and do it. And it doesn't matter that you don't know the track. 
you'll know the track a couple same, of sessions comes, in, yeah. and by yeah. the end of the day, you, you kind of know where you are and you've got your lines. Follow someone if you if you don't know someone who's good, you can speak to someone in the pits Lines and just say, look, can I follow you for a lap? Yeah. You know, spot someone that's slightly better. Most of the tracks have instructors as well yeah, yeah. that you could probably yeah, follow yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. There's lots of options for yeah. that. I think today's been absolutely perfect. Well, I was just going to wrap up by saying, yeah, listen, yeah. It's, been, it's been great today. You know, I mean, it's not often we get to, or I get to sort of deal with a novice and take them through those first steps because we've all done that. We've all had that first track there that first time on track and it is intimidating and all the rest of it but I, it's been it's been great today it's been a brilliant day on track it's bikes have been brilliant fun. tires have been brilliant you've been brilliant you, you you can fly the nest now you're on your own let us know next time you do a track day did, did we mention we did mention that <laughs> <Cut>. <laughs>